All right, this video is notes 8-2 over association and causation. And I will tell you today is a day that we just might disagree and we're all gonna go to Thanksgiving break and it's gonna be fine. So, association versus causation. Association means the data is related or connected in some way. So things are associated together, things are connected. Causation means that one change causes the other to change. So uh, in algebra, we use common sense and maybe sketching a graph to help us determine causation. However, in statistics, the only way to determine causation is to perform the experiment with a control group. There cannot be any causation if it's not associated, but having strong correlation doesn't mean there has to be causation. So things can be associated and not caused, but it has to be associated if it is caused. Um, so the change in one has to cause the change in the other for it to be causation. So for these examples, they ask us to state the type of correlation you would expect to see for each pairing of data, positive, negative, or none, and whether there is strong, weak correlation or neither. Then state whether the data is likely to have any association causation or neither. So the number of pets a person has, then the number of times they will go to a store. So the more pets you have, the more likely you are to go to the store. So maybe if you have one pet, you go um, to one store. Um, you have two pets, you go to two, three to three, four to four. Who knows? Maybe you're really good at shopping and you have four pets, but you only have to go one time. But overall, there's probably a positive correlation there if you're a good pet owner. Um, now, it is possible that there is a strong correlation and it's possible there's weak. So I would circle both um, because we don't know exactly. It depends on the people. It depends on the type of pet store. Um, now, these are definitely associated. And I would say that these are definitely caused. The more pets you have, the more likely you are to go to a, a pet store. Now, you could argue that you could go to Walmart, and that's not technically a pet store, but if you're going for your pet, I would say that counts. So this is where we might disagree, because Ms. Williamson disagrees with me. So it depends on uh, what you think. The number of dogs you have and the amount of dog food you buy. So the more a person, the more dogs you have, the more dog food you would need. So each dog eats the same amount of food. Let's say you have the same types of dogs. Definitely a positive correlation there and definitely a strong correlation. Um, I would say these are associated and caused. The, the dog food that you're buying is because you have dogs, so those are definitely associated. And the more you have, the more food you will need. Those One causes the other. The less dogs you have, the less food you'll need. The number of chicken pox vaccines given and the number of chicken pox cases reported. So um, as the number of shots increases, the number of cases will decrease. So the more shots you got going out, the less chicken pox will be reported. So this is a negative correlation. Now these have a very strong correlation. Um, don't you don't really want to get me started on like flu shots and people with flu because I'm a flu shot advocate. So just a quick plug: if you haven't gotten yours, don't come near me um, because I have mine and I don't want to get sick. But I also don't want to be a carrier that has to give it to someone. Anyways, off my soapbox. Um, so. These are definitely associated because the chickenpox cases is directly related to the vaccines, and these are caused. The more shots people have, the less likely they are to get the um, the chickenpox, and therefore the number of people getting it goes down. Ooh, this is a good one. Number of missing assignments a student has and their grade on the test over those missing assignments. So the more zeros you have, usually the lower your test grade. So as your zeros increase because you haven't been doing the work, the test grade goes down because you don't know what you're doing. So as your missing assignments increase, your test grade decreases. So this is a negative correlation. Now it can be pretty weak um, because it doesn't necessarily, like there are people who um, forget to bring their assignments in. They're not really good with due dates, but they've done everything. Um, so as you're missing assignments get turned in or like you have them at home, but you just keep forgetting to bring them. So you've done them, they're just missing. 
but your test grade can still be good because you know what you're doing because you've done your work. Um, and these are associated, but one does not necessarily cause the other. Um, just a quick example, I have a student from last year who um, really struggled with turning things in, couldn't turn anything in to save his life. Like if I had a gun to his head and said, turn this in, he wouldn't do it because he wouldn't know where it was, um, but could make a 70 to 80 on each test. So they're not necessarily one causing the other. Now for most students, they are causation, but it's not every time. Um, now a person's height and the length of their hair. Now um, I'm 5'4 and I have long hair. Someone else can be 5'4 with short hair. These are not correlated. So there is, it doesn't, there's neither correlation, it's not strong or weak, there's no association causation, one does not cause the other. So there's, we don't have to draw a graph or fill in that sentence. Um, so the next one is asking which of these best represents causation, so one causing the other. When the water bill increases, the electricity bill decreases. These have nothing to do with each other. When the number of reports of flu increases, average body temperature increases. Again, these have nothing to do with each other. Just because people are getting the flu doesn't mean everybody's body temp is increasing. Water level in a reservoir decreases, the amount of rainfall decreases. That's not true. Rain is not dependent on a reservoir. And then when the amount of exercise increases, the amount of calorie burned increases. That is true. The more you exercise, the more calories you burn. Problem seven, um, this is very similar to what we did on um, whatever day that was, 8-1. Um, so if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and clear your memory. Um, and so we're looking at this, they're asking about the correlation coefficient. Now in order for us to use the correlation coefficient, we have to get the correlation coefficient. So to turn that on, we go to mode. We hit the up arrow three times, one, two, three. We scroll right and we click enter. And then we click second mode to get out. So one more time, mode button, one, two, three, right arrow, enter, and then second mode. So a lot of the same buttons. So I'm gonna plug this into stat edit. We got heights and links. So if you need to pause the video so you can type all that in, that's fine. But I'm going to go stat calc 4. And my R value here is 1 point, or 0.155. It is a positive number, so it's not a negative correlation. But this is very weak. It is not close to 1. And remember, the closer to 1, the stronger the correlation. So because this is not close to 1, it's closer to 0 than to 1, it is not strong at all. So one more problem. Uh, we have the scatter plot showing the monthly high temperatures for Austin, Texas in degrees Fahrenheit over a 12-month period, which function best models the data from month 1 to month 9. Um, so if we look at um, some data, data. Let me just look at some things real quick. Looking at my answer choices, I can see if I were to draw a line, just trying to hit a couple of points, this has a positive increasing slope. So it cannot be F and cannot be J because these have negative slopes. Now the next part is kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these points and plug them in. So maybe like one, two, three, Four. So I got two on the line, one above and one below. If you're really a go-getter or you're really worried, you could plug all of these points in if you wanted to. So I have month one, two, four, and eight. And then the temperatures are 90. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of math. 99, 99, and 110. And I can go stat calc 4. And this is um, like 2x plus 90. So if I were to start at 90, oh, that's going to be hard to draw. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to plug them all in. We're just going to suck it up and plug them all in. I apologize. So. Okay. 
Part of my problem is I have these down here, which will change my equation. So I need to make sure I'm getting them all right. So 90, 99, 98, 99, 104, 108, 109, 110. 112, 100, 91, and 90. So if I try that again, stack calc 4. Beautiful, nothing that matches. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, this is why you shouldn't make videos at 6 o'clock on a Friday night. Okay, final answer, I promise. What I forgot to read, which most of us probably would, they only care about months 1 through 9, so I got to go delete... 10, 11, and 12. I'm so sorry. But this is a good practice for us. Alright, so stack calc 4. So 2.5x plus 90, so that is going to be answer choice H for the answer.